Concerns about so-called forever chemicals have prompted Penobscot tribal leaders to issue a do not eat advisory for fish pulled from the river they have traditionally called home. The industrial chemicals known as PFAS are in the runoff known as leachate from a state owned landfill. Every year, millions of gallons of leachate are discharged in the Penobscot River after being treated at a nearby paper mill. But wastewater treatment facilities or landfills are not required to remove the toxic compounds, which is why tribal leaders are fighting for stricter rules to protect the tribe's health. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has the story from Old Town. For generations, members of the Penobscot Indian Nation have fished the Penobscot River surrounding the Indian Island Reservation. But there's a warning for tribal members who rely on this important resource. They shouldn't be eating the fish, um, particularly for you know, women of childbearing age and young children. Dan Kuznirz is the Water Resources Program Manager for the Penobscot Indian Nation. He says the advisory came after tests showed runoff known as leachate from the Juniper Ridge landfill contained 20 times more than the state standard for PFAS chemicals. Every year, millions of gallons of leachate are hauled from the state-owned landfill to the Nine Dragons paper mill in Old Town. The leachate is discharged into the river after it's treated, but the harmful chemicals remain. That PFAS is largely just going into the Penobscot River. Kuzner has testified in favor of a bill that would require that PFAS hearing, to be removed from the leachate. The chemicals used in firefighting foam to the paper mill industry have been linked to a number of health problems, including organ-related cancers and thyroid problems. Right now, there are no wastewater treatment plants in Maine equipped with systems to remove PFAS chemicals. A wastewater treatment plant in the Madison Anson area has received federal funding to build the equipment, but that system isn't expected to come online until sometime next year. So, uh, Members of the Environment and Natural Resources Committee heard from are, Emerging Compounds Treatment so, Technologies, uh, a Portland company that designs systems that remove PFAS utilizing granulated active carbon filters and resin. The synthetic compounds and tiny beads bind and filter out the chemicals. Steve Woodard, the company's are. chief innovation and officer, so, says um, the technology, however, carries a hefty price there. tag. It could be anywhere from, from $3 million to $25 million, depending on the, on the situation. Committee members instead approved an amendment directing state officials to study ways to treat and reduce PFAS and leachate. But Kuznir says action is needed now because the health of tribal members. Because it's such an important component of the tribe's identity, you know, we know there are people that are out there that are just ignoring the advisories. In Old Town, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. That study is required to be completed by January of next year. We will have more stories on PFAS, including health concerns from exposure on our website and our new Center Main app.